All right, if your Arduino IDE isn't already open and your Arduino board isn't already plugged in, do that for both. Open up your Arduino IDE, which will probably look like this, and plug in your Arduino board into the USB port. Now, as you can see, they have provided a blank sample code. Now, what you are looking at is basically code in the C programming language. So just like the microchip IDE, you'll write your program here in this window, and then you can compile it and or upload it to your Arduino. It's exactly the same as the PIC, uh, just different language and different software. Now, the thing is, because Arduino is open source, there is this huge community that supports it. This community provides copious amounts of free code. And in fact, there's a whole pile of sample codes included in your IDE. Let's load one up. Go to the File menu, then Examples, Basics, and Blink. So this will open up another IDE window with an open source code that was provided by this nice guy right here, Scott Fitzgerald, whoever that is. <laughs> but this is just a classic example of pre-written code that is freely available for download off the net. Uh, in this case, it's a very simple program. You're looking at it all you know, 29 lines of code written in quasi English. So it's way easier to understand than the machine code that the Atmel processor speaks. All we're going to do is walk through programming the Arduino for now. I'll go into more detail about the language itself uh, in the following lessons. But all this program does is turns on one of the digital outputs on the Arduino board high and low in a regular interval. This is so we can turn an LED on and off. Now, conveniently, the Arduino board already has an onboard built-in LED connected to uh, digital pin 13 on the microcontroller. It's already got its own current limiting resistor and everything. These boards also come pre-programmed with a short program which does just what Blink does. It pulses pin 13 on your board, thus blinking the LED. Now, the pulse rate is quite fast, uh, eight, or time, 8 or 10 times a second, you know, something like that. So when you power up the Arduino, your Arduino with the USB cable, it'll start to run that program that is already on the board, and it'll start flashing the LED. So now let's look at our blink code. Down here, lines 25 to 28, you can see it writes a digital high to pin 13, then it delays a certain time. The number in brackets is the number in milliseconds. So Blink by default is showing 1,000 milliseconds or one second. The next line of code writes a digital low on pin 13, then waits another second, then loops back to the start of the loop, and does it all over again. Now, in order to compile and upload this program to your Arduino, we have to tell it which Arduino we have and which port it's on. So first, click on Tools, then Board, and it may already say Arduino Genuino, Genuino, Arduino, Genuino Uno, <laughs> but if it does not, find that in the list, and click on it. We now have the board selected and assuming you have your Arduino board plugged in and the drivers installed correctly, now when you click on tools and port, you should see Uno listed on you know one of the ports. There it is right there. If you do not see it, double check to make sure your Arduino is plugged in and if it is, then backtrack to the last lesson and repeat the install steps for the board drivers. So select that port. Now that we've selected the board and its port, let's upload this program to the Arduino. To do that, click on this arrow right here. Now it'll start compiling and spitting out what it's doing down here. 
as it then sends the compiled program to your board. You'll also see the transmit and receive LEDs on your board flash. And when it's done, your LED will now be flashing at one second intervals instead of 10 times a second. Now notice how similar all of this is to everything we did with the PIC. You understand the process is going on. It converts your program, which is written in, you know, sort of kind of English, <laughs> converts it into machine code, then flashes the program uh, memory on your Arduino's microcontroller, which then actually runs your code. So if you want, play around with the delay number a little bit. And send your new program to the Arduino. Now don't change anything else at the moment, uh, but just get some practice in just altering and sending this code.